it's about linear law. Normally, we will start from the non-linear equation. Okay, uh, diagram 3 shows the straight line obtained by log 10y against log 10x. So, uh, because the uh, gradient is given unknown, so we start from express the equation, non-linear equation in linear form. So, as you can see, uh, there is a log there, right? So, normally we start from here. We observe here is log 10y, right? So, we take log base 10 for both sides, okay? So, then we will try to use a law of logarithm. When dy, we always minus like this uh, with the two base, right? When we see square root, we write power half. And the half you have to bring to in front is a power law. So here you must write log 10y, right? So finally, if you simplify, you get log 10y equal to, this one is equivalent to 3, but 3 is a c. So we will write negative half log 10x first plus 3. That is called convert to a linear, linear law. So this is negative, all right? The gradient is it looks like going down the line going down the gradient is negative, so from there we can actually uh, write, write down our equation in big Y. This is a big Y, this is gradient, this is a big X plus the C. So this is big X, and then this is a big Y, right? So let's uh let's uh make it simplified like this. If we do this way, you can substitute the point which is lies on the line right these two points are lies on the line so when the point are on the line we can always substitute zero is negative half times to the n plus three isn't it then here we can have the half n equal to three so hence n equal to six and how to find the m we will do the same we will substitute the the y is m and then negative half negative two plus 3 so we have we have here which is 1 plus 3 which is 4 so that means that m is 4 m is 4 here and then the n is 6 here this is 6 all right so that is how we answer for m and n uh, state the log 10 y intercept for the straight line log 10 y intercept will be uh, here right so the y intercept is log 10 y intercept which is a big y intercept will be equal to 3 all right and then we have found the value of m just now and m and n can be found by just substitute the point that lies on the line so n is 6 and then m is 4 okay so uh, we will we will actually substitute and find the n 6 then n equal to 4. We always check the logic and is positive, right? Uh, this x also positive, right? Okay. Looks like uh, perfectly is correct. Lah. n equal to 4. Alright, so that is how we solve the question involving the, the linear law. So that's all my sharing on linear law. Till then, bye-bye and have a nice day.